Internet TV. It, it That's right. Part of uh, our future. And this uh, is USL it. Is, is going to the future together with Turner Broadcasting. Got another counterattack here. He's found Mar uh, Marcina on the right. And uh, he's going to go in and for the Islanders. Goal for the Islanders. 2-0. But in the first minute of the second half, Mar 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 Maracina had all the time in the world on the right side to get that ball across. They and uh, he put a perfect cross right, right across. And now Rochester is down uh, two goals. It's getting a little more difficult for Rochester. We're barely, we're barely two or three minutes into the uh, second half. I would say not even. Sounds like that was a... Continues to file in here. What a wonderful setting for the first game. All right, here comes drop back. Lowe's gonna take a shot. Lowe's shot. Go! Go! The Paul Lowe and the Carolina Lowe. Left footed thunder. And no matter how good Joe Warren is, he wasn't stopping that. Capone Lowe with a beautifully placed shot in the bottom left corner, Dean. Absolutely laser shot, and the Carolina Railhawks just seven minutes into this match are leading the Thunder one to nothing. Getting his head behind it. Now Munoz cuts to his right with a chance to strike, and it's in there. The first goal for the California victory comes from Mike Munoz. It's the first goal the Whitecaps have conceded in ages since last year. Mike Munoz with lots of time to tee it up at the edge of the box. And look at that, in minute number 42. Lencho is it forward for Juarez. Through for Gotsmanov. Gotsmanov oh. slices the defense. Shot by Juarez! Freddy. 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 Juarez scores! <laughs> Now that was a wonderful goal. <laughs> that See, was absolutely beautiful. I mean, it was just a rock upper corner, far post, right, right in the L there. Catches the side netting. What a shot! For Diallo, stood up by Scott Thompson. He'll go down the flank, running onto it is Bagley. Bagley with some space, wide of the box, right side. Still has his foot on top of the ball, dances around it, lays off for Potal. Potal plays it for Gregor. Gregor finds the open man. It's Leonard Griffin. Griffin steps into one. Right foot shot. Score! Leonard Griffin. Where did that come from? 35 yards away in the 32nd minute. Give Gregor the assist, and it's 2-0 Timbers. That was sick. He was so far out there, and I think what it was, too, that ball must have knuckled something good. It's awfully hard for us to tell because Rochester's goalkeeper, Chase Harrison, has got a lot of time to sit and to watch that ball as it's flying in on him. Shooting, and he scores! Goal! Zinho! Miami FC tying things up here with the Atlanta Silverbacks. It's one all. But Joey Jurchen's getting a lot more joy, playing wide on the right and causing problems down the flank here. Now Connolly Adozian with Johnny Steele to his left. Adozian tries to strike, it's in the corner of the goal, and the first goal of the game goes to Carolina on a great Connolly Adozian strike, posting in, and everybody's off the Carolina bench. The Whitecaps are playing from behind, and in minute number 57, it's the Whitecaps nil, and the Carolina Railhawks won. Side, ball laid back, Armstrong, nice shot of goal, it's a... It's a goal! A beautiful strike! A beautiful strike by Armstrong. Yeah, wow! Is, uh, an indirect free kick from uh, Alavagna, number 8, played the ball wide to number 16, Armstrong. Uh, it was a straight shot, but to be frank, it looked like in the near core. It, it seemed, uh, you know, it, it maybe the wind or maybe the goalkeeper's view was obstructed. It seemed uh, 
you know a shot that could be possibly safe well we should be getting a replay and here it comes ball late to the left Armstrong lining up laces the ball in And what a shot from Peter Villegas. That's a goal. That is a spectacular goal. Goal for Puerto Rico. Peter Villegas. What a strike. The score is now Puerto Rico Islanders 2, Miami FC 1. Charleston has made that forward adjustment. Trying to send some more numbers forward. We'll see if the Reynolds can counter. Headed in Spence the air, Dallacott nods it forward, moving in behind now, here's Diallo, across the 18, turns back to the right foot, still can't get a shot away, back again, shoots, scores! Diallo picks the upper right corner, great effort by Diallo, and the Riders up 3-1! Wow, Diallo, talk about composure in the box, 99% of forwards would have picked that one time, Diallo didn't get the look he wanted, Cuts it back once, cuts it back twice, and uh, Delicat, that's how you play with the big guy. Let the big guy win the ball in the air. Feed it off of that, and that's just wonderful. The flick is forward. Corcoran keeps him on, and there's three players converging around Diallo. Cuts back around one, around two, and then he sees the opening, and he drives it hard into the net. Delicat, great flick. And finally, we see the connection from Diallo and Delicat. And it's been a, a good night for the big guy and for his new strike partner. Last game I met Diallo played was in Puerto Rico and he scored that night. He comes out and back of the lineup here tonight and scores again. Still kept in play. Rhinos have it back of their own 35. Black but blocked away, carried off by the victory. Turned toward the middle and spinning around with it is uh, the newcomer Kim drops it off in the middle. Here's a left footed attempt. Slipped inside the box after Casillas. Crosses the in front. They score! Tipped it up over top of Harrison. Comes down inside the back post, and the victory of Ty this one at one. How that gets in, I have no idea. Chase Harrison is frozen. It's not a cross, it's not a shot. It's just a little hope. Munoz, a nice through ball or a lead ball to Casillas, crosses it in, and Harrison gets frozen. He just kind of gets frozen. He's stuck for a second. Is it a cross? Is it a shot? He's flat footed there, too. By the time he reacts, it's way over him, and he's a little out of position. That's Casillas from Munoz in the 84th minute. Keeping in control of the ball, getting opportunities, but uh, they've got to take advantage of those opportunities. Inside of eight minutes remaining, California on top, 1-0. And a long, hard shot, and it finds the back of the net. And that pretty much will spell the end of the Montreal impact. And that was Yuri Morales for the California victory, his third goal of the season. And a great strike right there. Ball calls in from Casillas all the way to Morales, and Morales, first touch, drops it down, Cat collects it on the half volley, and Andrew Weber was beaten from 20 yards out on that volley. And Andrew Weber, all he could do was watch and wave that ball into the back of the net as he was jumping to his right, but it found that upper corner, Grant. Oh, brilliant strike by Morales. That was unstoppable right there. Andrew Weber, even at his best day, was not going to stop that one. Why not? 2-0 down at 30-minute mark. Good shot by Alavani, a goal! Wow, Alavani nails the top corner for Charleston of the free kick that was about 38 yards out Lasso Alabania with the goal 2-1 here Remax Greater Atlanta Field that was a glorious strike here we have a replay coming your way as a free kick for Alabania right footed not too much a wall but wow McIntosh had no chance on that one direct there's no arm in the air so they could score direct from the free kick. Zinho and Vasquez standing off of it in a large wall in its way. Can Zinho do his magic? Tries a left footed strike, and it's in the back of the goal from Zinho, the legend. 40 year old legs find the far corner past Rich Goddard. And in minute number 53, it's the Whitecaps 1 and Miami 1. Well, how many of them has he had in his career, Peter? What a strike that is from Zeno. What a finish. 
And you look at that, they've got a decent water shot at the top. Richard God has got no chance in that. It's in the far corner. What a finish that is. That is Brazilian class. Well, the wall has to cover the near post. Rich Goddard should be taking the back post, and Rich almost got there. But you can't do much about a brilliant free kick like that, and we are level in the early stages of the second half. Can put him in that all Timbers killer team. <laughs> There's a few of them out there. Jordan definitely one of them, and we can see him before the night is out. Tom Podol tries to punt it away. Martin Nash, nice move, steps around oh. and finds the back of the net. That's a beautiful goal by Nash. Wicks may have been screened slightly on the play. You know what? I, we'll get a replay here from our TV picture. I think that ball just knuckled really, really badly there. Nash just putting the move on. I believe that was Poto. Yeah, look at that thing, Knuckle. Wicks just getting a, a touch with his finger, but he hit it with his left about 25 yards out, and look at that ball, just kind of hook and swerve. He hit it even with Wicks' right post. It ended up upper left-hand corner. They call it a short corner kick almost, if you will. And lines is set. Chips it down inside, up goes, oh, they score! Head ball, T-Bone finds you! A flick from six yards out inside the upper left corner, and the Rhinos take the lead, it's three to two. Great header, beautiful feed. Oh, we've had some nice passing, nice setup balls tonight. Absolutely, good delivery by Aaron Lyons. T-Bone, one of the best headers of the ball in the box on free kicks, we've seen that. Earlier this year, I think he nudged one against Charleston off a corner kick. And uh, he got up with everybody there and good header into the side netting. Lines are scoring his second of the season. Lines picking up an assist. Gives him five points on the year. And the Rhinos now have taken the lead after going down 2-0. They're leading now 3-2. We're in the 31st minute. Goes Reese Knoll. Nice move. He's got a channel opening up. Hits a strike and scores a great goal! Fabrice Knoll, the Whitecap back line, opened like the Red Sea, and Fabrice Knoll steps in at the edge of the 18 and cracks a stunner past Rich Goddard. And so in minute number 64, it's the Whitecaps nil and Puerto Rico Islanders won. Wow, did he ever hit that one, Peter? He did well. He, he looked like he was going to his right. He couldn't a bit to his left. Here you see him there. He's, he's just come across, and what a strike, and I think Rich Goddard doesn't have much chance of that. What a good finish that is. That's a great goal. Now the goal, the game needs a goal and maybe that'll shake the Whitecaps up a bit and get them really pushing forward. Again, the danger of that is they might give one away at the other end, but they've really got to get off, off the backside and get forward and really have a go at the Puerto Rico Islanders here. They're the home team. They've got to get forward and even if it's a change of formation, they get more players forward. Captain for Atlanta, Rios. Gets it all the way through to Kanji. Kanji, one on one. That's how he likes it. In the area, the step over, has it on the left, and it's in! First professional goal from Akumbo Kanji. And he is having a breakout night tonight. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable step over. This kid has magic in his toes. Makumba Kanji, they're doing the Makumba dance out here right now. Unbelievable performance. Helped cause the first goal going inside, and this one put in the back of the net for himself. How about this new surprising player? The USL gets better by the day, led by this guy, number 27. Step over left foot, side netting. Nothing the goalkeeper Bohonic could do. One more time, it's worth looking at a gazillion times. Wow, a back behind the heel step over and then puts it in. Beautiful shot by number 27, Makumba Kanji.
as Justin Thompson fires from outside the 18 and buries it in front of section 107. And there it is, we thought we'd see it. The flares have come out. Back at section 107, Dombrowski sets himself up wonderfully at the top of the 18. Right foot, it's smashed, but it goes off Brian Jordan. We think the play's dead for them. It bounces cleanly over to Justin Thompson. Left footed smash of a volley. Sends it over to the far post. Dips past Dusty Hudak. Tucks itself in the side netting right there. 1-0 Portland. Great lobbing shot. Just curls right over the top of him. You can see Hudak reaching for it. Ball. Here's Friedland's throw in. Arcing high toward the top of the six. Danny Jackson goes up to get it. Got Smotov heads it back in. There is... Help from Nathan Knox. Knocked down to Farber. He tries to squeeze one through, but Taylor Graham's in the air. There's a strike on goal, and the Thunder take the lead 1-0. Goal coming here in the 23rd minute of play. And this one here is going the other way. Why are they oh, long overhead ball. Gibson's there. He takes a shot, and it's in. There it is. Hat trick, Leo Gibson, 67th minute. And that one's hit from some distance, too. Oh, my. He's having an absolute dream game out there today. All over the back. Maurizio Vincello way out of position and a quick shot there, and he scores! Maurizio Vincello all the way from the left-hand side, working the right side, left-footed strike, and that ball dips in right under the crossbar. 3-2 Montreal, Grant, where is this coming from? You know what, I don't know, Rob. The Maurizio Vincello gets the ball from his left back fullback position, but he picks it up on the right wing, takes it inside, looks up, and fires a dipping shot into the top shelf. No, recovers the ball finds it to Hano. Hano, can he get a shot off? Yes, he can. He passes it to Villegas. Villegas with some space. Villegas shoots. Goal! 25 yards out by Peter Villegas. Shot on goal, and the goalkeeper, Ilander, can't get a hand to it. And what a goal. The Islander fans are going well as we tie this game in the 39th minute. The Islanders are able to get some rhythm on offense, confidence, aggressiveness. And what a goal that was. Low shot to the far side of the post, far side of the goal. And the goalkeeper can't hang out to the ball. He just got a hand to it. But that shot was too powerful. What a shot by Peter Villegas to get this crowd going and try to turn this 